Hey, what's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today on Lunchtime with My Gear VR, we are going to get our turn-based RPG fix. That's right. So, super excited to play this one. Turtle Rock Studios has done it again. They have come back to the table with a full turn-based RPG on Gear VR called The Well, and I gotta say, I've been tracking this one for a little while, and I cannot wait to see what they've cooked up. So, let's go. Okay, here we are. We are just about to get started with the well. And, uh, man, I gotta tell you, I am super excited to play this one. I am a huge fan of the uh, turn-based RPGs, and also a huge fan of Turtle Rock Studios after Face Your Fears. So, cannot wait to see what they've cooked up in the well. So, let's go. Okay, so it looks like the first thing we're going to want to do is choose a class here. So, you got your typical RPG classes, you know, Rogue, Warrior, Mage, Druid. Eh, I'm just going to go Brute Force, and I think I'm going to go with the Warrior. There is an imbalance. The Keeper must restore. I will begin the ritual. I am the Oracle. Whoa. My link with Elder Vanith is gone. My greatest servant is dead. I have summoned you to keep the balance. The people's... <laughs> Man, that looks cool. Evil spirits that hate and kill. You must restore the balance. Speak to the druids of the grove. They will hate you. Go. Stop the Okay, very short but very nice little intro. Okay, so now the movement in the game is all done by the trackpad of the Gear VR controller here, which they've custom skinned. That looks really cool. So, um, you guys know, I'm going to harp on it for a second, it is uh, grid-based and, and snap-turning, but, you know, I mean, for an RPG, um, especially one on Gear VR, it really doesn't bother me that much, um, but obviously I would like to see smooth movement. Um, okay, so secret symbol hidden throughout the world, um, look around, all right. Click on it. Ooh, got some loot. Some minted coins and a dark stone. Alright, I'm sure we'll figure out what those do here in a bit. So let's go ahead and continue to explore. Ooh, treasure! Uh, treasure chest contain items that will help me along the way. Pretty typical RPG stuff. Alright, ooh, lots of stuff. You got damage resist. Got an apple, another one of those dark stones, and an empty vial. So, whoa! Alright. Oh man, if this is the map, this is huge! Okay, I just received my first accessory. Select equipment on the menu. Um, and uh, use the new gear that we acquire. Okay, so this is my current equipment. So, yeah, so far totally scratching, you know, the filling in dots RPG itch that I've been having for a while now. Um, so there we go, we've got that accessory equipped, let's go ahead and move forward here, oh, uh-oh, what do we got, oh, combat, sweet, a pygmy frog, pygmy frog, you're going to go down, I'm sorry to tell you. Ah. Oh, got a jumping slash there. So, typical, you know, um, like I said, uh, RPG turn-based combat here. Um, lost some health, gonna eat an apple, that's great. The one thing I can say is it seems like the the, uh, the the enemy is a little closer. I'd like him, uh, I'd like to see him just a little farther back. But, other than that, the character models look really good. Okay, son, you're going down right now. <laughs> Gotcha. Did it did it did it did did it wait oh wrong game. Okay. We got a minted coin and some other vial. Okay. And have I 
made it. Yes, the Grove. All right. Okay, settlements have characters we need for quests. Uh, oh, cool, so we get extra characters here. Honor to meet the Oracle's champion. Well, you better believe it, buddy. Um, I act like then. I serve blah, 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 blah. More words, more words. You know, to keep this short, I'm going to forego the reading of all the story elements here. Uh, but obviously, you know, typical RPG fare. This is uh, building some sort of story. So that's good. Um, but, you know, it's lunchtime. So I want to keep this short. Uh, probably play for you know about 10 minutes here and then we'll call it a day so I can grab me a burger but man so far not hating on this game so we got our party menu here I mean this is like I said this is definitely scratching um, the turn-based RPG itch that I've had for a while um, we got oracle wells are found outside settlements. Oh, I think this is what I do with my stones. Yep, there we go. Cool. Now I can revive followers, and I think it said it uses it as a waypoint. Ah, fill my empty vial there. So, perfect. Alright. Let's go forth into the dungeon, or the glade, or grove, or wherever the hell I'm at. Now, I can say navigating in here does get a little... See, I just I got turned around. Uh, it'd be nice to have some sort of a mini-map that, you know, I could pull up. I mean, obviously, I could pull this up, and it does show me where I'm going, but this gets a little daunting. Um, that's the Grove. No, I want to fast travel to the Grove. I'm trying to get there, so... But, you know, obviously just some sort of persistent mini-map. I mean, we've got this, and it keeps telling you how far away you are from where you're going. But definitely doesn't help to keep me on track. See, I've already backtracked again because everything in here looks so similar. Okay. Oh, here we go. Finally got some team combat going on here. Alright, so let's see what we're capable of here. I'll give you a little slice. Um, oh, you a whirling strike. Alright, cool. It's an attack all. What do you got? You got leech or sleep. Let's put you to sleep. Use a spell. Nice. Dice you and dice you. And you a slice. And we're going to leech you. Oh, sweet. Not only does that cure him, it cures my entire party. So, liking that even better. Get him. Yeah. Alright, buddy. You're out of here. See ya. Victory! Oh, sweet. And a level up. Alright, so it looks like I get to choose a new ability here. So I can upgrade Slice, or I can add that Whirling Strike, Bloodlust, Battle Cry. I kind of like that Whirling Strike. I have to have two characters using that. So we will. There we go. Oh, what's this? Objects you can interact with, show information. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, a statue looks familiar, but it's different from anyone you've met in Thal. Uh, the hero's weapon is missing a spear. So, betcha I've got to find your spear. Alright. You guys are going down. Now I got multiple whirling strikes here.
Okay, so in typical fashion of most RPGs here in the beginning, we're fighting these low level things and they just keep popping up at every turn. So let's go ahead and deal with these guys. Anybody need healing? Nope. Sleep. to death. Alright, another victory. And some more minted coins. Okay, looks like I have found... Yes, I have made it to Ladora. Alright. Oh, oop. I want to step on the Oozlings. I want to Whirling Strike them. Have a little bit of that. And let's see if we can put some slime to sleep here. Okay, so there we go. Got some good stuff here. So, right. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and call it here, guys. I, I was hoping to get something exciting like a boss fight or something like that. But, you know, obviously I like to keep these videos to about 10 to 15 minutes in length. Uh, you know, because I do still have to eat it and I actually do these in my office at lunch here at the university. But, uh, man, let me tell you. Turtle Rock Games, you guys have done it again. I mean, already, I'm I'm only like, you know, 10, 15 minutes into this game, and it's already sucking me in. I mean, you know, for me, it's like I said, a lot of the nostalgia of I love turn-based RPGs. Uh, I can see a lot of potential in this, and I cannot wait to keep playing it. All right, that was absolutely fantastic. And I got to say, Turtle Rock Studios, you guys have outdone yourselves once again with this one. So if you have a Gear VR and you're interested in the game, I am going to throw a link down in the description. So head to that uh, you know link and grab a copy of this for yourself. I don't think you'll be disappointed. But for me, that's going to do it, guys. It's time to eat. Thanks so much, as always, for watching to the end of the video here. And if this was your first time coming into the channel, man, I can't thank you enough for coming by and checking out what I do here on Lunchtime with my Gear VR. If you want to see more great VR content, head over to my main page, man. Take a look through my videos. You never know what you're going to find. I got some awesome Oculus Rift content, some other Gear VR content in there. And if you liked what you saw in there, smash subscribe. Come along with me the next time I do something cool on my lunch hour or whatever else the heck I'm going to do in VR. And of course, if you're already a subscriber here at the channel, guys, thank you so much. I know I say it all the time, but I mean, from the bottom of my heart, I truly mean it. We are just about to hit 5,400 subscribers, and I owe that to each and every one of you guys. So keep doing what you're doing, man. Like it, tweet it, share it. Let's talk about it down in the comments. You guys know I love interacting with you. But for me, that's it. That burger's smelling pretty good. It's time to go eat it. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off, y'all. Peace.